Welcome back Team Dino. Hey, if this is your first time here, my name's Tim, and in today's video, we're gonna do a job recap. And anytime in this video, if you see something you like, hit the like button for me because it really does help me out. And if you wanna subscribe, hit the subscribe button. And if you do that, don't forget to hit the bell notification, that way you can join my notification gang. And I do leave all the links to all of the equipment that I use in the description below. And if you click any one of those links and buy something within a 24 hour period, I will earn a small commission and I will greatly appreciate you for that. So another thing I wanted to talk about is I, I set up a clarity.fm and what this is, is it's one-on-one -on -one phone coaching. So what really inspired me to do this was my friend, Justin at forever self-employed. He does this. He has a one-on-one -on -one phone coaching call where he tells his audience if they need help, they can schedule a phone call and they call in and he'll help them with whatever it is. So he had somebody call him from his audience and schedule a phone a phone coaching call. So he did, I think it was like an hour long phone call where he helped the guy dial in his flyers and dial in his uh, Facebook marketing strategy. And after that phone call, that guy landed a $14,000 job. And this is in the pressure washing industry. And I just thought, man, that is so cool to be able to help somebody out, get ahead. So it really inspired me to start my own. So I just started, a, I, I did the same thing. I started a one-on-one -on -one phone coaching call. So if you guys are interested in signing up and scheduling a phone coaching call with me to maybe help you out with your new handyman business, or maybe you already have an established handyman business, but maybe you're running into some walls here and there, I could give you guys my strategy because you know it would be an hour long video if I really wanted to run it down to you guys. So I, I try to drop tips and tricks here, but if you have a specific questions that you want answered, Go down in the description below and I'll have a link there and you can schedule a phone coach, coaching call. So if you guys follow the channel, you know that my truck is broke down. So I had to take it to the shop and you know there was a whole bunch of hubbub. If you're interested in how that all happened and went down, um, I'll leave a card here somewhere and you can click that or I'll put it on the end screen and you guys can go back and watch the whole fiasco with the truck. But anyhow, like I had said that I have a big... Uh, a big bill now with the truck. I have about a $3,500 bill that I'm gonna have to deal with because my truck broke down. So I'm gonna be putting uh, more content up, more, uh, not just paint job recaps, but probably a little more of the handyman type construction things because I need to pick up more jobs to compensate for the broke down truck, you guys. So I get a lot of questions in my comment sections, like how do you get so many jobs? Like how do you get jobs? And the what I preach the most is just word of mouth. and putting yourself out there, just let people know that, you know, that you're a worker, that you you work. So for this job, it was a word of mouth. I did make a paint job recap video of this job, me painting the entire house. So when I was on site, um, the client had asked me if I knew anybody that was able to convert the existing bathtub into a shower because he bought this house as an investment property and he wanted to uh, rent it out. So it only had one shower in the master bedroom and he wanted to turn this tub convert it into a shower. So he asked me if I knew anybody and naturally me being me and, uh, you know, needing to get some extra money. I said, Hey, you know what? I'll do it. Now I am not a plumber. I'm not a, um, a carpenter or whatever, but I have done a lot of things. I've been in construction my entire life. I was grown. I, I was, I grew up in construction. All of my family have contractors and masons and tile setters and the whole nine. So I've been around it a lot. So I, I was totally confident in doing this. And if somebody asks you to do something, you know, make sure you're confident. If you want to tackle a job, there's a wealth of knowledge online. You know, you could always go in to help. So let me get into explaining what is going on here. So in the beginning of the video, you guys saw me tearing down the tile. I wanted to knock down the tile because I needed to find the studs. Once you can find the studs, then you could really pry back the tile off of the sheetrock. Now, I didn't want to, I, I guess I could have just took a hammer to the sheetrock and started tearing out the sheetrock and kind of working my way down. But the diverter, this is the diverter that you're looking at here. Now, this is where the knobs go. And on the bottom spout is where the spout, the water comes out. Now, we added in all that blue line. That stuff is called PEX. It's a replacement for like copper piping. So it's, it's fairly inexpensive and it's really easy to work with. So we cut back all the copper and we added in this PEX. Or well, we haven't done that yet. So you can see the way we have it now. We use the existing diverter. Okay, so now... My experience, if you're going to do a project like this where you're going to convert a tub into a shower, just buy a brand new diverter because if we would have bought a diverter, we would have saved ourselves so much time on this project. So right here, we're drilling pilot holes because we need to drill a nice fat hole. And I think we used an inch and a half hole saw. And what we're doing is we, we measured out the openings for the spouts and the handles. You can see there. So Look at that diverter though. The spout and the handles on that thing are sticking out way too far. 
and I'll explain to you a little bit more about that. So we're using liquid nails here on the two by fours, and this is just a glue. This is strictly to glue the paneling to the wall. So um, put that in a caulking gun, go up and down, make sure it's nice and over the surface, and then it will expand a little bit. But this stuff, you could use any kind of construction adhesive. We just chose to use liquid nails. Now you can get liquid nails in Home Depot, any, any hardware store. So if you ever find yourself in a similar situation where you are converting a bathtub, make sure that you take the panels. Now there's three panels. And before we put the glue on the studs like you were just watching, we dry fit all of the panels. Now what I mean by dry fit is we set it all in there to make sure it's gonna fit before you start gluing. Now you don't wanna start gluing unless you know that it's, that it's gonna fit. You know, you wanna make sure everything's gonna fit. So you can kinda see, this is the problem I was talking about. We had to cut the copper piping down and re, kind of do the ho the hoses inside of the uh, wall because the diverter stuck out too far. So we had to push the diverter back. So we had to notch out some of that two by before, push all that copper and brass into the wall further. And if you look on the left and the right, you can see we had to do some little 90s and kind of make the pecs cruise around. But that that, that that's an easy way to do it. If, if you're not comfortable and you don't want to have to sweat pipe or solder pipe and <laughs> sweating pipe and soldering pipe that's a those are plumber terms and like i said i'm not a plumber this is a quick like homeowner way to, to get this job done so now we're here um we got the whole thing secured in we got everything fixed you know the knobs fit on good so i threw some sheetrock you want to use waterproof um hardy or not hardy backer waterproof sheetrock for especially around wet areas you want to make sure because there's there's different types of sheetrock make sure it's a green it's called a green board a lot of people refer to it as a green board so use the green board in any kind of wet locations when you're uh, repairing your walls so now we got it all up we got it primed and we are going to see where are we at what stage are we at now yeah so we got the everything is primed all the raw sheetrock we had to mud it all in so we got it all mudded in and primed now we're going to hit it up with some uh this this is texture now this is the orange peel this bathroom here, and you kind of see it's it's kind of hard to see because the actual material is actually white, so it's hard to see. I tried to get you guys a little good shot where you can kind of see what I'm doing here, but I'm spreading it on. You want to use like a circular motion when you're using when you're using these cans. This is a, the red label type of this. this is a Homax. It's a Homax um, wall texture, and you, and that I like to use the oil base because the oil base it dries really quick really quickly and unfortunately I actually ran out of it so I had to use some water based stuff so it took a little longer to dry there's a little close up of what it looks like it's an orange peel and I guess they call it orange peel because it kind of looks like an orange once it's done there's several different types of texture there's like a knockdown imperfect smooth there's a um, heavy orange peel heavy knockdown light knockdown you know all, all the above I like to use blue tape around the edges of, of surfaces like this because the yellow tape Sometimes it'll leave a residue and the blue tape comes off clean. So here we go, guys. Here's the finished product. It's all painted. We got the shower head on, on the wall there. We made sure to use a, a silicone, waterproof silicone caulking around all of the edges. All of the seams of the paneling are also caulked in with that same material. It's a waterproof, waterproof sealant. So make sure you get the waterproof sealant and also on the ground there. See right there? Haha, <laughs> gotcha. But anyways, we did. We had to put a cord around because once we chopped the tile back off the wall, it left a little gap in the linoleum. So we had to put a cord around to cover that up. So there's a before and after, you guys. Not a drastic change, but definitely more functional. So hey, if you guys like this video, do me a huge favor. Give me a thumbs up because it really does help out. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification because I'm trying to build out my notification gang. And that way you guys get notified. I'll also leave a link to my Discord if you guys like to hang out and uh, keep in touch with me on a daily basis. And also I'll leave a link to my Rumble account. If you guys want daily content from your boy, head over there and I'll see you in Rumble. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. I appreciate you guys watching. See you next time.